Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevlis here, and right now I'm going to be showing you a project that I have been working on in Unity. Um, I have actually, uh, was just really simple before. It is actually a clock, and it still is pretty simple. But if I go into the first play, then it actually shows that real time. Like right now, it is just hit 10 o'clock um, on March 3rd. Or not March third, I knew I said that. I look at the three nests thing on third. March twenty second. And um so you can see that has like the actual ticks. One problem is with this um version where it just ticks like this, is that the minute hand and the hour hand don't move until it's actually ready. So this won't go move along like a actual clock would. Like as soon as it hits fifty nine, as soon as it gets to ten o'clock, the hour hand will just jump. So I will go and show you that right now. If I change the date and time settings, I can go and move that back to 9 and put that at um, 51 or 59. And I can go like that and set it like that. So I'm just going to wait for the one minute to go by and you'll see how it jumps from 9 to 10. Oh, it's almost to 10 o'clock, so you'll see in 5 more seconds that you'll see this just jump. I don't really like it how it just jumps like that, but um, there isn't really a way I can fix that. So I'm going to change this time back really quick. I can check my phone and see what time it is. 10.02. That's good enough. Okay. And then not, um, if you want to actually know how you can make this, there uh, will be a link in the description to my project download. Well, not, not the project download. But, um, if you're actually wondering how you can make this, there will be a link in the description to this website, uh, catlightcoding.com slash unity slash tutorial slash clock, where it'll go through an entire, um, it'll go through a tutorial on how to make the clock, giving you, um, all the different positions for the arms and different scaling, and as well as, um, all of the, uh, code which if you want to you can just copy and paste it but I don't know I, I, I like typing the whole thing out because then it makes I feel, it helps me memorize it better if I actually type the whole thing out um but yeah and also I went it doesn't add it doesn't actually have the tick marks either so I just went through and made these um because if you didn't know a clock for each um hour these go or not each hour each uh from like each number is 30 degrees from the middle. This like this angle that'd be right here is uh, 30 degrees. So if I actually stop this and if I go to the tick marks, you'll see. This is a okay. That's not a good example. So right there, that's 302. Okay, so we go for, it goes from 90 and then 60 to the next one because it turns uh, 30 degrees more, and then it goes to 30, and then zero, and then negative. Oh, that's 332. Okay, well, I don't know why I did that, but over here it does back at the 60 and the 30 and then 0 degrees. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you want me to go more in-depth on actually how to make this, you can let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see a more in-depth video on how to do this, you can let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.